Uh, Dennis Kappel here. I, I get a lot of questions about what I do with a buddy sour horse, and uh, I'll just see if I can demonstrate one example, one way that I deal with it. Mostly, it is a uh, you're dealing with the natural instinct of horse. Uh, you know, they they feel comfortable when they're with a friend of theirs, and when they're separated, they have you know they act like they got a lot of anxiety, and uh, it's real important that that you step up as the leader so that you can be the replacement uh, buddy for your horse and uh, so anyway it, and it it can be very dangerous so it it's something to take very seriously uh, one way to to deal with it safely is to to just simply tie your horse up where he's not next to his friend where you know maybe even where he can't see them and that uh, and just let him work that out himself because they'll, they'll do all sorts of things when they get in that emotional state of mind and that's all it is is a, is a highly um i don't think agitated is the right word but it could be highly agitated emotional state of being the horses is, is uh is worried they're 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 fretful sometimes they'll get angry Sometimes they'll get defensive. At any rate, they're exhibiting behavior that, that's not conducive to uh, safe riding. So let's say that this horse that I'm on, you know, just if, if I kept him away from those other horses, he just kind of goes into another world. So I'll, when that happens, I'll just, I'll just go over here and ride around these, these horses. I just put them to work here around the horses, and uh, I'm not punishing him directly, but indirectly I am. You know, it's his choice to want to be over here with these horses. These are his friends he thinks he needs to be by, so I'll just make it work when he's around them. You know, and I'll, I'll ride around and, and do all sorts of things out here. You know, at a at a fairly relaxed pace, but yet more work than this horse wants to do. And then I'll I'll pick a spot and ride away. If that horse goes away from them willingly, I'm gonna just sit out here and pet him. So it's it's just a classic example of making the right thing easy and the wrong thing difficult. The thing about it is, you have to you can only ride these horses where you can ride them. So if he was too upset right here for me to ride, I'll let him carry me back over to those other horses. I'll let him just carry me back over here and put him back to work again. Then when he is acting like he's really obedient and listening to me, I'll just simply ride away. I might only get this far away before he, he decides to come back up again and want to get back over there. That's okay. We'll just go over there and go back to work. I'm not going to get emotionally involved with these horses. I'm just going to set the stage where they choose. They'll always take the path of least resistance. So if I set it up to where it's more comfortable for them to be away from those other horses, the horse will choose to be away, and you won't have to deal with that. So that's a safe way to deal with the Buddy Sour Horse.